Yeah, so I've been in Iran for over 30 years. Uh, it started actually as a phone line in the back of somebody's house. Um, and we slowly grew and grew and grew until we ended up here. Um, we actually outgrew our previous space as well. And even though we've only been here about three years, uh, we're already outgrowing this space. <laughs> Uh, it's a good problem to have. Uh, we have the third largest GLBT library in the country with over 9,000 volumes of GLBT literature that is accessible every day that we're open. Um, we are open six to seven days a week, uh, Monday through Saturday 12 to 9 and some Sundays 12 to 6 depending on uh, workshop schedules. Uh, we have a lot of different programs. Um, some of them are youth focused. Uh, there is a misconception in the community that we're only a youth center. Uh, we're actually a, an entire spectrum community center, uh, but we do have a lot of youth programs and that's actually directly correlated to the collaborations that we have with other service providers in the community. Um, one of the longest running youth programs we have is called the uh, GLCC uh, Friday Night Drop-In and that's from 7 to 10. That's been going on since 1994. Um, every Friday uh, we have this uh, basically free space for the youth with adult facilitators of course. Um, they come, they play games, they sing songs, play the piano. We have a guitar that somebody donated. Uh, sometimes they'll just play board games, sometimes they'll dance around and it's just a space where they can be themselves, however that is in that moment at that time, and not feel um, like they have to pretend to be something that they're not. Uh, a lot of the kids consider this place their second home, uh, which I'm very proud of. Uh, in addition, um, we have a couple of collaborative programs we do with PERSAD Center, uh, one of which is Real Time, which is a suicide prevention project that happens uh, once a week. There's workshops and discussion panels and activities um, every Tuesday 5 to 7. And we also have um, another intervention coming in through Perside called Respect and it's a four it's a four meeting intervention that specifically targets high risk uh, men who have sex with men uh, regarding their risk behaviors and how to uh, get connected to services and resources they might need to make healthier decisions for their for their lives. Um, as far as adult services, um, we are doing uh, monthly craft nights, uh, first Thursday of every month. Uh, we have yoga twice a month, it's every other week. We have a belly dancing class every Monday, uh, which is fairly popular actually, um, and a lot of fun. The lady that runs it um, is pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> We have a program called Nexus. Nexus has been around for, we're coming into our one year birthday, um, and it's for 50 plus specifically. And that was directly um, created because of the phone calls we were getting from people that were older, uh, that were looking for connections in the community, but they were way over the bar scene, or they'd been in a partnership for 20 years and their partner had just passed and, you know, just really didn't have the connection to the community that they might have had, you know, a decade or two ago. So um, this, uh, from these conversations came Nexus. Uh, Jeff Miller is our volunteer here who runs that. They do something every month. They've had picnics, gone bike riding, kayaking. Um, they're doing a white elephant event in December uh, to celebrate the, the winter festivities. Um, and we're actually really proud of that program as well. Uh, it's part of our forward motion to making sure that we try to meet the needs of the entire continuum of our community. Um, in addition, you know, we have space here that is rented by all sorts of groups. Everybody is welcome. Um, there was initially some pushback many years ago because uh, we do have adult groups that use the space here for munches and things like that. But uh, everyone here, everybody is welcome. Uh, we don't care how you identify or um, what you prescribe to. Uh, if you're cool, we're cool. <laughs> That's what I tell the kids anyway. Um, I think I might be getting too old to use that phrase, but we'll see.